Good morning, everyone. And as I'm rushing around this morning, finishing up getting dressed, I wanted to share with you a morning message. And uh, I am hoarse today. I had a wonderful weekend with my family for a family reunion. And through all that excitement, I ended up getting, uh, getting hoarse. Um, just too much fun, too much having a great time. But today's message is um, the visualizing your success and the power of visual visualization. Uh, it is so important for us um, as we go out in our day and you know wanting to, to see our future in such a way, we need to see it first in our minds, through our mind's eye of success. Whatever it is that we're uh, hoping for and aspiring to achieve, you gotta see it before you see it. We've got to, in our minds, see our success. If we're wanting to live a life of whatever it is that we want to do, if you want to, that job that you're aspiring to obtain, uh, that, you know, car that you want to obtain, that house, you know, being debt free, you know, having an overflow in your finances, see yourself with that. See yourself there. If you want to, you know, see your children pros uh, prosperous, if you want to see them productive and successful, see your children there first, being successful. It is so, so very important in order for that reality to become that, you know, reality for us. It needs to, we need to see it first in our minds. It is so important to the law of success. The law of overflow is through what we see first within our own minds. You know, in, in the Bible, I, I noticed that God would do that often. He would actually, you know, give people visions. You know, even when it came to Saul, who was now, was his name was changed to Paul, who wrote over, you know, half the New Testament, he first, who was a killer of Christians, God had to, you know, give him a vision, you know, show him. And when he asked him, why are you prosecuting my people? So, you know, but God started with that vision. And it's same thing with Abraham, when he told him to go outside and look, you know, amongst the stars. And here was Abraham, you know, our, our, our father, the beginning, who didn't have any children. And God said, look up in the stars and those are the, you know, your children and children's children. Isn't that amazing? You know, so he, get, he God knew within our creating of us that we need to have visions first in order to make that reality happen. So whatever you're wanting, desiring, hoping for today, get it first in your visual, in your mind. See yourself doing and accomplishing whatever it is that you want to accomplish because that is where it starts before it becomes a reality. And that's in that our thinking and our visualization of it happening. If you're someone that you know, is wanting a special relationship with that, you know, special someone, you know, and you've been wanting that individual. I say first see that individual in your mind. What are the characteristics of that individual? You know, how would you see that person act and be? That's what you have to first start doing. And you know what? You will soon find that that visualization happened. I will tell you, my whole life, I've actually done that. You know, even when I was in college and I was taking a test or, you know, worried about passing the exam, I would see myself taking it, doing that, you know, having that exam, and then walking out, you know, so, you know, just excited and jubilant because I was actually have passed that test. 
have done that too when it came to purchasing houses and things of that nature. Things that seemed impossible. I actually visualized myself being successful, you know, with all the many beautiful homes that I've been blessed, my husband and I, to own. Um, we, I would always start with myself opening that front door. I mean, turning the lock on that, uh, you know, on the, um, the key in that lock opening that front door, walking through that foyer, seeing myself in that home and my family in that home. And I will tell you, it is amazing how at the when it's all said and done, it came to pass. I think I do the same thing every single day and I encourage myself to do it when it's something seeming so impossible. And I will tell you, I have so many big dreams that I personally have that in the natural, it seems like impossible for me to even accomplish these things. But I believe so. I believe it and I see myself accomplishing those things um, in my mind. I see myself, you know, the clothes I'm going to be wearing, the flights I'm going to be taking, you know, to travel and do the things that I want to do. You know, my family's role in this vision that I have, you know, in my mind. I see everything. I've already, you know, prayed over it and then I just see it in my mind how it's going to play out. And I will tell you, it will come to pass. So today, it's about visualizing your success and the power of visualization. So hopefully you'll find this message to be a blessing to you today. And until tomorrow, have a very blessed day.